to the buzz today. We are getting a first look at stunning police video showing how a sheriff's deputy managed to escape Northern California's campfire. Yes, it is pretty incredible. You've got to see this. Dia joins us now with the buzz. Hey guys, it Hi. just makes you just, it takes your breath away. Mm -hmm. Take a look. The Butte County Sheriff's Office released this video from Deputy Aaron Parmley. He had gone out to help evacuate four nurses from a hospital in Paradise, but Parmley's car became over disabled and the deputy had to walk out through those flames. Authorities say Parmley could only see about 10 yards in front of him at a time. Sheriff's Office is reporting Parmley turned on his camera, you know, the body cam, because he believed he was going to die. But thankfully, an emergency vehicle arrived to rescue him and others. Campfire is now contained. Thankfully, it burned, though, more than 153,000 acres and killed. 88 people. Oh my god. Can gosh. you imagine the intensity of that Just heat? The uh, as red, you know, when yeah. you think of fire, you right. think orange. Right. right. I know it sounds kind of weird, but right. it's like that is yeah. red. It's it's got to be so hot and the, yeah. the smoke. Oh, and the steam. Did you just I can't mean, imagine? Yeah. It just doesn't even look real. And then, gosh, talk about feeling like your savior is coming to you, seeing mm -hmm. that vehicle yeah. finally approaching them. Like, oh, we can get out of mm -hmm. here. Because oh, yeah. as they said, or as you just said, he thought he was going to, to die. die. Yeah. yeah. That, uh, and a lot of people oh. sadly did perish mm -hmm. in their vehicles while they were trying to get out. Incredible video. All right. Well, let's look at this one. Florida police are looking for a man who stole a generator but lost his pants. Ha ha. In the process. Take off. <laughs> A look at this. November 18th, the man broke into a Hyundai dealership using a fire extinguisher. But getting through the hole was just a little more that he bargained for because I guess his booty was too big. The man <laughs> lost his shorts for a moment while climbing through the hole, but at least he pulled it back up. Please say he was able to make off with the generator. He was last seen walking down a street near that dealership mm. with his pants. Thankfully, back up. The things <laughs> people do for a generator these days. Those don't come cheap, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cheap. That's not. <laughs> My gosh. Dang. And they haven't <laughs> caught this guy? Come on. Somebody's got to recognize that man. Uh, yeah. Everybody's seeing the video now. And you know what? That's why they're going to probably catch him oh, because, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm sure there's, if you zoom it, you probably Somebody's can like, see some kind of Uncle identified Larry? figure. What are you doing? <laughs> That's where you got me the generator for Christmas. Yeah, that's why your mama tells you always wear clean underwear. Oh, always, in always. case you get caught on camp. <laughs> and let's do this one. We're going to take it all the way to church on this one. A sermon in Mississippi gone viral. Take a look at this. This is Brown Baptist Church pastor, Reverend Bartholomew Orr. Instead of walking into the sanctuary to deliver his sermon on being ready for Jesus' return, he flew in on a zip line. Oh, yes, this pastor Orr didn't expect all the attention, though. He has been interviewed by several national news outlets since the video posted. He did acknowledge he has, you know, gotten some backlash about his methods because he is a very dramatic type of preacher. However, he says the zip line was not brought in just for his sermon. It was already there for the church's annual Christmas play, and it was sponsored <laughs> by church donations. I, you know, Raymond is pastor, and yes. he is, he's very <laughs> he's very demonstrative. He you know mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and you you know when he's his voice will raise, and then he'll slam his hand, and you know, and, then, and it's it's just yeah. it's a part of the yeah. way in which pastors kind of put their their sermon out there, mm -hmm. and so I guess this gentleman thought that it was necessary to maybe be a little bit more visual. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I want to see my husband on his own. <laughs> coming to the church sanctuary. Coming what? to a church near you. Yeah, right exactly. <laughs> and take it in the air. That's right. <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, your job is to get the, your the message. Sending a message, uh -huh. spreading a message. That's so right. it certainly um, got attention and uh -huh. his, his message was heard. That's right. And I bet everybody was awake. Nobody was sleeping through that uh -huh. sermon. Yeah. Or if anyone was, they're like, what? <laughs> oh, what's yeah. he doing? <laughs> or maybe that he's taken flight and the second coming is coming, huh? That's right. It's there. already begun. There you go. And that's Friday's All buzz. right, Dia, thanks so much. Stay with us. You're watching The Four. We'll be right back.